we don't want to be the one who is singled out for ruining Christmas for everyone or to be seen as disrespecting our parents. So we put up and shut up and fit in with the plans that may not be of our choosing just to keep the peace. We also don't want to open up the age-old diatribes and judgments that we know will be cast at us. And for a good many of my lovely people-pleasing good girls that make up my community, we also spend a good portion of time worrying about what is coming up and projecting out all the scenarios we can imagine. Sound familiar to anyone? Hi there lovelies, I'm Rhonda Crimes. I'm a life and leadership coach supporting everyday people just like you to reflect and rework your everyday stories so you can step into the everyday leadership of your families and communities and create compelling, meaningful and fruitful lives every day. Today let's talk about pleasing others. I can't help but notice in the beautiful everyday women I spend time with that our tendencies to please others can often take the driver's seat. In her book, The Gifts of Imperfection, Brene Brown shares that choosing authenticity can be hard as parents, partners, friends and family struggle to make sense of the changes they are now seeing in you. Remember, they are replaying their own autopilot scripts about what they think should happen, what has always happened, and how that fits comfortably with them. Or maybe it sparks a form of discomfort because they haven't had the courage to choose their own authenticity over the external motivators, expectations, and obligations that have governed them for years. Whatever their response, I know for many of us that have the people please a tendency, it is magnified exponentially at times like family holidays and celebrations where we default back to the original hierarchies that were in place in our childhood situations all those years ago. We don't want to be the one who is singled out for ruining Christmas for everyone or to be seen as disrespecting our parents. So we put up and shut up and fit in with the plans that may not be of our choosing just to keep the peace. We also don't want to open up the age-old diatribes and judgments that we know will be cast at us. And for a good many of my lovely people-pleasing good girls that make up my community, we also spend a good portion of time worrying about what is coming up and projecting out all the scenarios we can imagine. Sound familiar to anyone? The problem is when we continue to push ourselves down to fit in and always go to the back of the line, while we appear to stay small, the resentment inside us builds and can then erupt with those who don't deserve to be the collateral damage of our own inauthenticity. The struggle is real. Of course, we don't want to upset anyone, but why do we feel it's an either or position? Sometimes it can merely mean negotiation. I know for my family, when we had children, it was really most important for us that our kids spent Christmas being able to enjoy the celebration and their gifts to the max. Wherever Santa delivered them, that was where we stayed for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the whole day and night. It was also really important for us to share the day with family. So we negotiated that we would have sleepovers on Christmas Eve if we left our home to go to mum and dad's or my sister's. And then the whole Bruce clan would be together. 
or if we decided to stay home any family who wanted to join us was always welcome <laughs> I always over cater at Christmas and there is also always a spare token gift under the tree for unexpected guests we didn't ask permission to do this we set the boundary that our children's joy was more important than keeping in-laws happy with often arbitrary rules and critical to this was that we had the conversations ahead of time now I was fortunate I guess that both sides of our family were pretty easy going and I know that isn't always the case for some families I would hear stories from my friends of bundling up children two or three times during the course of the day to fulfill obligations bestowed upon them by their own families now don't get me wrong I'm all for traditions but sometimes they need to be reviewed especially as families grow and sprawl Brene Brown says that sometimes choosing being real over being liked is all about playing it unsafe it means stepping out of our comfort zone and that might mean that you will be criticized for non-compliance or bear the brunt of some cruel judgments and you know these might not even have anything to do with what you're choosing to be real about and they may not always be to your face it's really important to acknowledge that while this will hurt and it will be unfair I wonder if you can consider if it's more hurtful or more unfair than continuing to sell yourself short to live feeling powerless and in resentment for the rest of your life just to please other people at your expense sometimes it's critical to get clear on the relationships we have with people is there real connection which encourages compassion authenticity and vulnerability or is it more like codependency which lives on emotional and psychological leveraging and an excessive reliance on other people for approval so I invite you to take 10 or 15 minutes after this and have a think about how you would like to live your life and how does that picture fit with the plans that might be in place for now will you choose you I know you know deep down you deserve to so let me know by direct message email or a comment under this video I choose me if you do need help you know I'm here for you I hope this has been useful and if through this message you see that your now is not the picture that you've painted for yourself and you'd like any help on this discovery path or maybe something completely different that you intuitively know or feel isn't letting your true colors shine through then please do get in touch with me you can do it really easily by leaving a comment sending me a private message or popping over to my brand new website rondacrimes.simplero.com and go to the contact me page that now houses the email and Calendly online diary options if you know or feel you're hitting your I've had enough of this set point let's set up a free curiosity call to have a chat and see how I can support you and make sure we're a good fit for each other without any obligations much love until next time